everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a decoder that recently uh, became available in some iterations from Soundtracks. It's the Soundtracks Blue Nami decoder. Now this decoder provides direct control from the app to your decoder and it is Apple. I'll zoom out here so you can see this app. But this is an Apple only product. But on the I iTunes store, or the Apple store, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can actually download this BlueNami app, and this is powered by Blue Rail. Once you have a BlueNami decoder installed in a locomotive, such as I have here with this P42, then you just uh, get some track power. Now that power can be DC or DCC. Uh, you can also control the locomotive with DCC still, but it's a Bluetooth connection, so uh, this is going to really uh, come in handy in a lot of situations that I'll go over in a minute. So with that said, the first step is once you have power onto the locomotive, you will have um, also it showing up on the app. So you can see the app here, so I'll connect and it says connecting and then you get a beep and it's connected and then the only other option is to disconnect so from there we'll move on okay below that I selected an option and let me go back and show you that here it's just standard or multi-train so I selected standard here and now we have full control over this now this has the slider to move, which it's moving as you can see there. So very responsive. It's actually a uh, response faster than a DCC system can direct the decoder, so that's a good thing. You can also make all sorts of changes and we'll get into that. I'm trying to show you just a few though. Turning the headlight on and off as you can see there. Bell. Horn. It's an emergency stop there. This is another horn. This is long horn and that's short horn. Forward and reverse and you hear the reverser kick in on the app on my tablet here. So it's supplementing the sound. I'm going to have to take a step back a little bit so we can get everything in the picture here. But there's also, uh, it's also giving you a voltage reading up there, 13.7 volts. And settings, there's, you can get easily into the sound settings. So this is showing also the decoder type, a diesel GE is selected. Going into the sound settings, we can now change master volume. Just notice that getting louder, I don't know if you did. Main sounds, you can change the prime mover volume. You can add some reverb. These are things that usually have to occur in CV settings. You can change the horn. So you heard the horn a minute ago. Let's change it to something a lot different. Let's do a P3. Then you can test it over here. These are all live action, very quick changes that are occurring to the locomotive. So you hear the bell, we can change that. So these are all, again, CV changes that are able to occur very simply through this menu. There's other sounds. I'll show you dynamic, there's dynamic brakes. Let's see, sorry, it closed on me there. Dynamic brakes, radiator fans, independent brake apply, you name it, it's in here to change in the menu setting. And then also, it's not only there, but it's also showing when you do these settings. Let me go back to another settings menu here.
I know it was showing uh, the CVs up top there for a moment. So, see, as you adjust the CVs, now it's saying what CV is set to. Like CV 168 is now set to 47. It's set to 75. It's set to 109. So you can see that up top as you're making those changes without having to dig through CV numbers. Now say you want to go and just actually adjust CVs. Here's CVs 1 through 256 and you can change on the fly the values. So same situation, change it. And it's changed. So that is really easy CV adjustment through this app communicating wirelessly or Bluetooth wise to the locomotive. All right now let's say you want to access functions. You hit this little button here. Function 1 through 14 listed there. I can in increase the RPM of the prime mover. You can hit the coupler. I heard it in the background even though the prime mover decided to do whooping. There's bell, horn, headlight, then you switch over to function 15 through 28. There's the rest of your functions. Handbrake. A little hard to hear over the prime mover, but I did hear it. Straight to idle, generator, sander valve, cab chatter. All aboard. So see, all those functions can be hit so easily. <coughs> and then back to function 1 through 28. Mute on the fly very easily by pressing the mute button and unmute button. Everything is lightning fast response. Now we're back on the main screen now and you remember we selected standard at the beginning of this video. Now I'm going to select multi-train. All that does is line up a bunch of different throttles if you have more than one locomotive connected. Uh, I'm told an unlimited amount of locomotives can be connected to the app. So you can have DC power or DCC, you can just pop it on any layout. Have your iPhone or iPad or other Apple and and uh, Apple device. Android is not available yet. And you can control this locomotive. So you can also consist easily. You select this right here and choose which locomotives in the consist and that'll be the lead and then you can add the locomotives as you need. I believe that's what this is referring to for the actual consisting but it's very very simple. Those of you familiar with Tsunami may know that they have what's called DDE and that is uh, Digital Dynamic Exhaust, I believe. I might have said the first two words backwards. Dynamic Digital Exhaust. I always mess it up. Anyway, you click that once you're in the menu. Again, let me show you the Settings button. DDE has its own little gear. And then you hit Begin Calibration. And it'll auto-calibrate for you. And start moving the locomotive for that calibration. Alright, I had to go chase down my locomotive, but the calibration is now complete, as you can see right there. You guys are getting a lot of reflection here, but calibration is complete. Okay, so just kind of a recap over everything we talked about. The decoder communicates with your Apple device through Bluetooth. It's quicker than DCC. You're able to access all 28 functions through this side menu here. You can easily change CVs either by CV number or by the title of which everything is listed. You've got full access to set up and sound selections through the app. You can horns, I mean you name it. You can do it while the locomotive is powered on receiving a Bluetooth signal from your Apple device. So you can auto calibrate DDE, you can consist very simply, it's all DCC compliant, you can operate on a DCC track just like Tsunami 2, you can still use DCC control, you can set uh, 
CVs, basically using JRM, JMRI if you want. The settings are still all made with CVs, so the decoder's memory handles the settings. No matter the control method, the decoder, it will perform the same way. So if you run it on DCC with other models, it's just fine. When separate or consisted with other Blue Nami locomotives, you can simply use the app to run your entire train, no matter what the power source is. Uh, it opens up the use of battery, especially for my G-Scale stuff. And also, I even hear LEGO train people who use batteries. You know, once I think Soundtracks develops further or somebody figures out the voltage for the battery to supply to the decoder, which may already be figured out, you're able to run battery operated power uh, items with no track power whatsoever. So it's going to be a really big game changer for G scale Lego trains. It's a huge game changer for HO scale and whatever scales it ends up in for regular models because now you don't have to screw with CV menus, you don't have to log into JMRI, it's very simple on the fly with the app. So the only downside I can think of in this entire review is that it's not available with Android products and it probably will be one of these days but right now it's not so that's going to be a ding. Other than that, I went in very skeptical, <laughs> you can ask some of the people I talked to about this. Uh, but I leave very impressed. So with that said, that's it. No run by, just a very quick rundown. Uh, I didn't even plan on it being quick, but I was able to find everything so easily because it's so user friendly. There's a couple little bits of area where I had to kind of hunt for things, but in general, it's easy to find. You know, I, I didn't see this little logo at the side here, the pull-out menu to get to the functions, but that was easy. And, you know, that all the other stuff is very easy to find. The settings menu brings you to all the settings, consist functions, etc. And it's a very easy to navigate. So this video went a lot smoother than I planned. I slated for an hour and a half and the actual recording time was less than 30 minutes that gives you an idea of the user friendly level of this so I think it's going to be great for all ages as well. With that said guys thanks for watching the channel we'll see you back next time have a good evening.